back just a good bit. Today's project is a design pattern table that also functions as an ironing board. Let me show you how what we got our base here. We have a wood table. You want to cue this down? We've got a wood table. We picked this up from Goodwill, $25. This is going to be our base. We didn't build this. We'll follow that by a bed pad. We repurpose this, cut off the uh, little corners. We're following that by a little more insulation. We have two layers of fleece. And we're going to top it off with upholstery material. Strong, durable, and it will be functional. Natural cotton. It's natural cotton. And uh, that's the piece of how we're going to put it together. The reason we turn this upside down is the table would act as a weight for our cushioning to hold it in place so we can pull it taunt and staple it. It's easier to staple down than up. Basic tool. You need a staple gun. If you don't have one, you can get by using thumbtacks and a small hammer. I'll show you that too. We'll start with the staple. We want to start off with the longest dimension. And we're going to go to the other side of the longest dimension and pull it taut so there's no wrinkles or anything. We can trim this fabric off later. We want to have room to pull if we need to. If we have to pull the staples out, start over, whatever. You don't cut it off until you're ready, until you're sure you got that part done. I hope you can see we've got the staples down here. It looks like I need another one here. It's got a little pocket here. See that, Jim? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go to the other side and we're going to pull a taunt and then we can show you what we got so far. You need to, I'm going to slide the whole table so you can see, okay? It's good see, then. See down the line now? Okay. Now we've got to make sure it's all taunt that's tight from each layer. We're going to pull on this layer a little bit, and we're going to pull the other labels layers before we put this in. We're just pulling it taut, we're not pulling it very far, just try to pull any wrinkles that might be in there out.
tools aside. And before we do the ends, let's see what we got. Let's see what it looks like. And it is taut, it's not wrinkled. And we're gonna work, start working on the corners. I'm gonna check all my staples, make sure they're down before we continue. Some of these staples uh, don't seem to be all the way. I'm just gonna take the little hammer and uh, make sure they're all the way. I said I'd show you a thumbtack just to uh, show you can use thumbtacks. Put that thumbtack down there and get it started. And you can just finish tapping into the hammer so thumbtacks will work. Now let's do the ends. I'm going to do this end first. I'm going to pull it taut. Now we've got to flip it around, do the same thing in the other corner, and we'll come back and deal with these. Now we're coming up to the end of this first staple round, and you want to butt these corners up as much as possible. It'll allow you to trim it up later. You see we got a V here. We're not going to trim this up now, but we can V it and staple it down later. What we want to do before we do that, we want to make sure we got it right. We've got one chance here before we trim it. Take the staples out and redo this if we need to. Jan, what do you think? It looks nice. Okay, uh, you might want to uh, take and make sure it's taut enough. Run your hands across, make sure there's no wrinkles underneath. Let's see, honey. Make sure everything is pulled tight. <laughs> And it appears that we have that. Now we can turn it over. Finish doing our staple job. Okay, we're just going to trim up. Get some of the bulk is off of this corner. So that was something we can work with. Still too much. And you take your scissors and you go down until you got about two inches that's not cut. Go a little bit more. And now. It's just time to staple this. Now we want to pull the corner in first so we can tuck this in. We've got a nice tight edge. idea here is we want to be able to fold this in and tuck it in. We still got too much across that. It's, but you can always take away. You can't necessarily you can add on. Actually you could, but you'd have to take it and sew it. You could probably find upholstery tacks, which would work out much better than regular store thumb tacks. 
so you can get through all of it, but that's how you do the corner.